Graves in Manchester. Oof, that was a big story, isn't it? So I think this happened, like, what, maybe last weekend. Um, again, I'm not, um, if you're looking for somebody that's going to be pointing fingers and blaming the kids for, you know, your grandma dying and stuff, I'm not that guy. I think the government, you know, essentially has a lot to blame for this. Um, they dealt with the lockdown terribly in the UK. We didn't really have a serious lockdown and suddenly now we're celebrating the return of football, which is a bit bit sweet for me. I'm happy to have the football back. You know, watching my beloved United has been, it's going to be amazing on Friday. But this part of me is like, we don't really deserve to have the football back. We haven't really done that good of a job at kind of, you know, uh, stemming the tide when it comes to COVID. We have a really high number of deaths in the UK. I think it's like 40,000 or some shit. So it's not as if we've been on our on our job or anything. So when I see kids going out and breaking the rules and deciding to have parties and stuff, I don't blame them. You know, they've been given a real direction from the top. Things have been a bit wishy-washy. Um it seems like every every government is really good at locking things down and telling you not to do stuff, but they're not very good at telling you what to do next. So, hey, what can you do? So, it's not to go from Greater Manchester. It says, from BBC, sorry, it says, uh, Greater Manchester, illegal raise. Man dies and woman raped and free stabbed. Now, that is an issue, right? The kids going outside and have went to a bit of a boogie and drink some shit beer in the park, do your thing. People dying and raped is insane says a 30 year old man has died and a woman has been raped and three people have been stabbed during a two illegal quarantine raids that attracted 60,000 people thousands flocked to Daisy Nook County Park and Carrington and Great Manchester late on Saturday the man at the county park died of a suspected drug overdose and the stabbings and the attack hold on so why they make it seem like okay and the stabbing and the, and the attack on the 18 year old woman took place in Carrington police said that the illegal raids have a tragic consequences assistant chief Christopher Sykes uh, condemned them as a clear breach of coronavirus legislation, adding officers were met with violence resulting in items being found and police being van the car being van, like which you can expect. But that was a proper rave. Look, they got a tent there and everything and a sign. But look at the mess. This is similar to what my beef is when it comes to, you know, the constant petitions and fucking protests people have when it comes to places like Victoria Park and stuff, right? Or in London, you know, or tr any kind of trendy hipster spot when people start moaning about gentrification when people are left to their own devices right and they're given a few spots that they can kind of enjoy especially open air we love to take the piss especially in the uk people take the piss all the time you get given a little bit of an inch right you get given some leeway and then you just take the piss for instance if you're going to put on an illegal rave somewhere in a warehouse in an open field at least you could do is clean up after you've finished the least you could do is make sure people are safe the least you could do is make sure people are not getting stabbed in your fucking thing that's the least you can do right because you're already doing something that's against the rules something that's going to upset a lot of people right um the least you can do is make sure the people that are coming to your event aren't in any kind of trouble but they don't do that they don't do that uh, let's watch this video quickly Volunteers have been clearing up the litter after an illegal rift took place in Daisy Nook in Oldham, Texas. Here, it's believed more than 4,000 people attended. I uh, think it's absolutely disgusting. Agree. I'm absolutely. I was devastated when I, when I got here. It was just Jesus, horrendous. look at all the NOS canisters all over the place. Again, so I'm saying, if you're going to do your thing, like, I just don't understand this sort of like i guess when you even when i was younger when we used to go to parties we'd do it all the time you go to like a house party you weren't even invited to and you just want to be you don't want to be a nuisance and you also don't want people to regret inviting you so you're on the best behavior you clean up you take some some place back to the kitchen you open a little bag up you you know if you had a little plastic bag you brought some beers and you use that as a sort of like de facto bin bag for you and your crew like just tiny things just so you want a shit guest that's part of it right and i don't know why people just enjoy being bad guests like you're never going to be invited back to the dance again if you do that once do you know what i mean who's to say if they work clean this up after they finished that they wouldn't have been as upset you might have had a chance to throw another rave there but now for sure they're going to cordon off the area have somebody watching it it was it would just look like a mass of silver when we got here jesus you know, christ i just i just can't understand what people think. <laughs> a mass of silver <laughs> I was disgusted, absolutely disgusted by the state that things are left in. I understand young people need somewhere to go and something to do, and it should be park life this weekend. I get that, but unfortunately, they didn't need to leave this much mess. See, that's a reasonable reaction. 
everyone understands if if I was 18, if I was 17, 16, right? There's no way in hell I'm staying in with my parents all the, through quarantine. There's no way I'm staying in at home. It's not happening. I'm going to sneak out. I'm going to do something. I'm going to get up to nonsense, whatever it may be, right? But if I had happened to stumble across a warehouse or a, a field rave, right? Which, you know, is really rare and it's such a, an amazing experience for kids coming up these days because, you know, they don't really have the benefit. You know, they don't really have any sort of maybe knowledge of what, you know, of the era gone by and, you know, the rave scene back in the day. So it's for them to experience this whole rave culture thing now afresh, but the, with the backdrop of this global pandemic going around and feeling at the end of the world, it must be quite a cool experience. But, you know, I don't know. Treat your area that you're raving with respect as well. Have some sort of like civil civic duty in you to make sure that whoever comes after doesn't have to do, clean up your mess. We're in a pandemic and people just have to see it out best we can. Well, I came here at 8 o'clock this morning um, because I've been listening to the noise and the disruption till, till about 3 o'clock in the morning. I've come to sleep with people sniffing gas outside my house and dealing drugs. <laughs> I've come here at 8 o'clock to see what this was like and it was a complete sea of gas canisters, bottles, um, alcohol, refuse, excrement. People shitting in the park. You name it, it was nice. all over the place. Anyway, let's continue. So I think there's some other clips as well I want to, show, I want to view. And there's actually a bit of footage of the actual party itself, which looks mad. Just a sea of white kids, for the most part, right? Just going absolutely nuts in the park. But yeah, I just don't understand the lack of taking care of your environment that you're in, man. This is the video. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it looks fun, right? I think anything that involves strangers and big crowds, because we've been deprived of it for three months, it's going to look fun. But come on. And I, I don't know how these people have got haircuts. Like he's got a fresh trim. That girl's hair looks really straight. Like, I don't know where they're getting all their... Where, where are they getting all these grooming? Um, you know, where, have, where are they getting groomed? I want to be groomed. They look at me like a bear right now. <laughs> Of course, a bottle of Ciroc there. Balloons everywhere. It's just like a massive church park gathering in it, I guess, for the most part. Maybe in the back of your head, you're also nervous a police might come, but god damn it, man, that looks like a madness. And then another one. Let's let this load up quickly. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Same video, well, yeah. It's over now anyway, I guess. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I can't be too hard on these kids, man. Imagine being that age, being stuck at home, nothing to do, no real no real idea as to when things will, will kind of loosen up and get back to normal. Um, I don't know. It's just what it is, isn't it? But bloody hell, man. Imagine the amount of shit they had to clean up at that place. The things that they've seen, they probably couldn't repeat on TV as well. Like, ugh.